Hi, you may have heard of visualization, and I, I don't mean visualization in the world of affirmation. I mean visualization as the tool that athletes use to prepare for high stakes competition. The idea is that you practice psychologically in your imagination every detail of a particular activity so that you can refine it and hone it, and more importantly, teach your brain the right neural pathways to utilize in order to accomplish it. So for example, an Olympic diver might use this in preparing for a very important competition, imagining every single step of the rung along the top to the, to the diving board, imagining the steps, the bounce, the feeling of the wind, the expansion of her lungs, how she extends her arms and the way that she turns in the air, even to how she dives under the water and comes up to see what the score is. And of course, in this visualization, the score is a 10. Now, I use something like this in an assignment I give to my clients every single year. And if you look back, I've done videos about this every year because at the new year, it's this line of demarcation that we can take a moment to craft a new part of life. It's an invented line of demarcation, which means you could do it anytime. You could do it now, it's February, or you could do it in June, or you could do it on your birthday. It really doesn't matter. So what is this exercise? The idea is that you imagine yourself one year in the future. So if today is say March 1, 2022, you project yourself in your mind, so you're gonna time travel here to March 1, 2023, and you write a letter to yourself in March 1, 2022, about how the year went. Now we all go into the new year with a whole bunch of goals or maybe hopes or fantasies, whatever they are, right? We expect something to happen. We expect it to be different. We expect this year to be a, a quantum shift from last year. And oftentimes we do that by creating these New Year's resolutions, and then maybe for a few weeks we stick to them really vigilantly. But part of what makes it so hard to stick with a New Year's resolution is that it's a little bit like a Sisyphean task. You're pushing something forward against gravity, against your habits, against what's comfortable, and you're doing it to accomplish something that's very abstract. This exercise allows you to go into that future and really imagine every detail of the narrative that gets you to the fruition of those goals. So you put yourself in that year cognitively and you imagine, how did I get here? So my revenue has doubled. How did that happen? I've expanded the team. How did I find those people? How did I hire them? What did I have to do through the interview process? What connections did I have to make? We entered a new product um, area or we started to market into a new vertical. Well, how did we do that? How did we strategize that? What were the obstacles that we needed to overcome? Here's the interesting thing about it. When you fully craft that, that letter, and you've imagined all of those eventualities, the challenges, the pitfalls, the difficulties, what you discovered along the way that you didn't know. I know that's a tricky one, right? You're thinking, how could I imagine what I didn't know that I don't know that I'm gonna know? All right, you do though. As you craft that narrative, you find that you are discovering things exactly as you would in real life. And it has a couple of really interesting effects. First of all, because you are fully imagining this future as it took place, you have now created a little path in your brain for your brain to follow as though it has walked that path before. So the neural pathway is now there and you can take the action as you imagined it. The other thing is you begin to confront the fact that you can do anything, but you can't do everything. Our resolutions have a tendency to read like laundry lists. This is the idea of a proverbial bucket list. Well, a bucket list has to be finite because at some point you're going to kick the bucket. And a year goals goal needs to be finite too because you only have a year to accomplish it. So you can't do everything in the universe. And when you write this letter and you imagine the entire narrative of successfully having accomplished 
whatever it is that you're out to do, you begin to confront the limits of what you could realistically do. And you'll find that you cross some things off. Maybe you want to publish a new book, but at the same time, enter a new vertical and at the same time, go on a trip for four weeks. And at the same, you see what's happening here? I'm out of breath just saying it all. So my recommendation for you is to give this a shot. When I read these letters that my clients write, I am blown away. And I can tell you, because I have quite a track record now of working with these folks on fulfilling those letters, it works. It works because it forces you to really go beyond fantasy and to go beyond the pushing of the rock up the hill and into the experience of being pulled forward like a tracking beam. That tracking beam is the full imagined future that you're creating and the neural pathways that you have now trod in your imagination that are going to make it easier for you to fulfill that future. Give it a shot. I know that you will inspire yourself as much as my clients inspire me. And I'll tell you, I am not just talking about what I ask them to do. I do this for myself every year. And every year, it pulls me forward in ways that I never expect. As hard as it is to get myself to sit down and write that letter, every time I do, it alters my experience. So give it a shot. Please subscribe to this channel and get notified whenever there's a new video up. And I hope you'll go to my website, beyondbetter.io, and subscribe to the newsletter where you'll get a more fully fleshed out version of these topics in an article with citations and links and all kinds of other things that you can explore. I'll see you next time. Thanks.